Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP Wi-Fi projects and in this particular video we'll learn how to use a Visprim chart in SAP Wi-Fi using local JSON or OData. So certainly you need to have a basic knowledge of JavaScript so that you can understand the basic concept of JSON and also you need to have basic knowledge of SAP Wi-Fi so that you can use the component called Visprim. And also you need to have access of IDE it can be web IDE or business application studio. So before jumping into the actual coding part, we have also written an article for you. The article link will be added in the description of the video. Here you can read all the theoretical part as well as the coding section that we are going to discuss just now. So we have written all the view controller code over here and also added a screenshot of the output. Also you can visit this particular SAP UI 5 documentation where uh, you can see all different type of charts available because we are going to discuss a few of them so like line chart is there bullet chart is there right and then we have waterfall chart here so like this different scenario covers different type of charts but the entire concept remains the same so we have not discussed one important uh, point that is uh, there are some important terms so like the model so a model is something that defines the structure of data when we say structure of data it means it can be data that is meant for binding with table so how it will be right so it will be like columns and rows right a table will have column and rows so the model will have a structure having columns and rows then we have something called flattened data set since we are not going to you know use a table we are going to use a chart so a chart needs visualization and for that we need something called flattened data set so this particular component will be using in our code then we have something called feed item now you have converted data as per the requirement but the data will have to be mapped to individual axis so a chart comes in two axis or three axis if you do remember the chart that you have developed in school time then there is an x axis and there is a y axis right so we use feed item to map to x axis and y axis and then use something called add feed to you know map the data so ultimately you create a model and the model will be binded to your particular wish frame then you convert that model into flattened data set and then bind the data set also with the wish frame and then you create feed item for x axis y axis and then use add feed to bind that particular feed with your required access. So we are going to see all these things in this particular video. So we'll move towards the demonstration first. So the entire code remains same for different type of frames. So we have something called line, column, bullet, area. So if you see the content remains the same, but the type of chart changes. So now we can jump into coding part. We have created a very basic view. We have a title and then we have buttons in form of radio buttons, right? And each button has a text like line, column, bullet, area. And on each select, we are going to change the type of the wish chart. So we have something called wish frame, right? The wish frame just has the ID and by default, we have set the type as line. We have also defined width and height so that fit the screen fine and if I jump to the controller as discussed the radio buttons just change the type of the viz so on click of line a line chart will appear on click of column a column chart will appear bullet will also have a column chart but it will be in a vertical format and then we have area where all the entire set is in, in form of area so apart from that whenever the particular you know this program loads its life cycle will be called and it will trigger on in it within on in it what we have defined is a set of data it's a local json and we have called it data this json can be replaced with sap ui5 o data model also so at both ways you get in the end a json format data where you have data in form of objects inside an array right and if you see we have something called category and then we have something called revenue so this is the 
type of data we are having and what we do is like we convert this particular data into sap ui5 json model using this particular line of code you know new sap.ui.model.json.json model and now we have a o data model so either you can get this o data model from the back end or you can use local json like this to create a local o data model fine so if you remember the first thing we have to do is bind a model so what we do we get the container the container is this particular with chart container right and bind the model directly with that the second thing we do is we create a um, data set that fits the type of this chart right so we have something called flattened data set and inside it if you see we have something called name value name value so the name will be something that will appear here so this category and in that we have this values category 1 2 3 4 right so category and it is binded to category set so category set is having 1 2 3 4 5 right and then we have revenue binded with revenue set and then we have designed a path so path remains like a, whatever data is coming just bind it out fine data set is defined again we bind the data set to the chart container i believe the concept remains as usual that we have discussed in the ppt right the next part is feed so for each axis we create a feed so feed item will have the axis name so it is a category axis or value axis right and it also gives the type of the axis what exactly it is doing so one of the axis will have dimension one of the axis will have values right so this is dimension and these are values make sense and the last thing is the values that are coming from json so that also we bind it to the particular feed so now we have two feeds ready category feed and revenue feed now these feeds are also added to the container using add feed so in this way we complete the entire you know uh, chart formulation binding model binding the flattened data set then creating feeds and adding feeds to the individual charts so that's how the entire uh, particular code is created where we are creating this chart and binding local json model so i believe you have learned a lot in case uh, you want to perform these entire steps using this chart in xml that can also be done so if i go back to the code you will see in the view we have just a width frame we have not utilized something called feeds within the view but that can be also done since we have not done there that's why we are doing everything from the controller otherwise one more way is there that you write everything like category feed revenue feed everything you can define in the xml and just bind the data model nothing else is required and automatically the chart will be created so there are two ways like that in case you need a video separately for that you can always comment that in the comment section. Thank you very much.